Hey Jacob, I know you're busy, but can you help me with something one sec? Uh, yeah, what do you need? Oh, it's for math fine. <laughs> I'm great at math, what do you need? Can you help me with this? Uh, have a seat. So, I'm one person. You're one person. How many people are in this room? There's two people in this room. Great. So, one plus one is... Three. Yeah, that's... No, that's not right. How does one plus one equal three? Yeah, totally makes sense. Like, one plus one... Three. What? No, no, it doesn't. Makes sense. All right, let's try it a different way. So we have one chair. Uh -huh. And now I have one more chair. Yeah. How many chairs are in front of you? Two chairs. All right, good. So one plus one equals three. No. 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 Listen, Albert Einstein didn't die for you to say that one plus one equals three. Now take a look at this. One and one are both common factors of two. Look at this logarithm. Two. Look at this triangle. Two. Look at this. You see how many EXs there are? Two. Look at this. You see how many sides of the graph there are? When you take away two, there's two. When you look at this equation, two. All these signs add up to one plus one equaling two. So tell me, what is one plus one? Three. What is wrong with you? I'm turning this what in. Don't, don't turn that in. Too late. I already turned it in. You are going to fail. Boom. That doesn't make any sense. Actually, it does make sense. As you can see right here, one plus one doesn't equal anything yet. But in reality, horizontal ones do not exist. What are horizontal ones? Why? It's just a one laying down at the side, as said right here. As you can see, if we erase every single horizontal one in the equation, all you are left with is three. Wait, that's wrong. Oh my gosh, you're a genius.